Advent, December 6th, 2023. One of the little clans. Micah chapter 5, verses 1 through 5a. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days, and he shall be the one of peace. Micah chapter 5, verse 2 and 5a. The book of Micah is attributed to a prophet decrying the injustice of the rulers in Judah and Israel during the 8th century BCE. Micah can be seen in these verses as declaring the need to start afresh, with new leadership arising out of Bethlehem, one of the little clans of Judah, from verse 2. In this case, the term little refers to perceived importance rather than size. The Hebrew Bible and New Testament are replete with instances of God honoring and partnering with those who are considered to be of little consequence. During Advent, many Christians remember Jesus' birth in Bethlehem as a prime example. In a Thai refugee camp in the 1970s, a group of Cambodian refugees performed a Christmas pageant for their fellow displaced neighbors. Rather than raising the curtain with the tranquil nativity scene we see memorialized in living rooms and front yards every year, this particular Christmas play showed a beleaguered holy family settling down in an Egyptian refugee camp. Many in the audience found themselves drawn to the idea of a God who willingly entered into the little places, into the experience of forced migration, with all its concomitant precarity and loss and who identified with all those disregarded and considered disposable. If you want to see God at work, I encourage you to open yourselves to the voices emerging out of the little places, those all too often overlooked or dismissed as insignificant, and prepare to encounter the presence of the One of Peace from verse 5a. If you, yourself, are calling out from a little place, know that God sees you, identifies with you, and is moving in your midst. Dr. Brianna Wong, Assistant Professor of the History of World Christianity.